can see the master is hot at work. <laughs> Welcome back to The Morning Show. We're your co-hosts. I'm Sarah Windsor. And I'm McKenna Robin. As you can see, we're getting into the Halloween spirit this week, and we've got a ton of fun events for you starting today. Today is Orange and Black Day. If you're wearing one of these two colors, uh, you're eligible to win a Halloween-themed goodie bag. Winners will be selected this afternoon. Tomorrow is our fall art contest. Uh, submit an original piece of Halloween or fall-themed art to Maddie Gilbert by tomorrow at 11.10 to enter. Wednesday during period one will be the door decorating contest, and Thursday is our pumpkin carving contest. And to end off the week is costume day! Speaking of costume day, I wonder what everyone's going to dress up as. Let's turn to our in the field correspondence. All right, uh, are you dressing up for Halloween this year? Yes, I sure am. And I what will you be? I am dressing up as a rainbow. It's going to be massive. It's gonna be like that far off the top of my head. And that is to show my pride in being a member of the LGBTQ plus community. So Ms. Johnston, will you be dressing up for Halloween this year? Sarah. Of course I'll be dressing up for Halloween. I always dress up for Halloween. And what will you be? I'm not gonna give away too much, but it is going to be something to do with music. Ooh, well we all love a surprise. And uh, do you have any plans for Halloween night? Well, I do have two young kids, uh, Molly and Wally, and we have to make sure that they get some candy, and I also hand out candy at my house, and uh, I generally, for high school kids, I always make some non-razor blade filled candy apples. Ooh, love those. Yes, not great for braces, but uh, they are quite delicious. You know the hard red kind? These are my favorite. Um, so that's what I make. I might even put cinnamon in them this year. So Cassim, what are you going to be dressing up for us for Halloween this year? Uh, Jaws. Jaws. Okay. You're gonna be a shark? Yeah. All right, cool. And uh, what are you gonna do for Halloween? Steal candy from babies. Nice, I mean, you could just knock on doors. That's no fun. Fair enough, everyone loves a little mischief. Yeah. Sounds like we're gonna see some very interesting costumes this Friday. Hey, look, a transition. Let's all take a moment to applaud the winner of our rock, paper, scissors competition. Carson McNeil! It is time for sports time. It's, it, yeah. Yep, yep. This fall, the tennis team grew to 19 players, and the Maitland Golf, Tennis, and Curling Club donated free practice time on their courts three days a week for the entire fall season. The tournament was moved to May, so here's to hoping all the preparations paid off then. Mrs. Ball would like to thank everyone who got involved. Baseball club for any GDCI student, grades 7 to 12, and possibly some staff members, will be Tuesday and Thursday after school at Bannister Park, which is beside the old arena. And now we've got our weekly history fact. The sport of dodgeball originated with Viking culture early in the 11th century. If a Viking clan had an issue with a neighboring Viking clan, they would settle this dispute with a squid game-like version of dodgeball. Boulders and other large objects like goats would be thrown at each other in an attempt to settle whatever the dispute was. This is the origin story of Dodgeball, and this fake news was brought to you by The Morning Show. GDCI will be holding class versus class dodgeball games happening this week in an effort to make school fun again. They are happening Tuesday in grades 7 and 8. You will also be included. Come prepared, lads. I've been known to play a mean game of dodgeball. Really? No, uh, people just try and hit my face. Oh, same. Yeah. Our final announcement for today comes from the GDCI Greens Club. They're challenging us to compete in their Hallow Green Challenge, which you can see on your screen right now. If you do complete these tasks, which you definitely should, tag at random acts of green and at GDCI underscore greens in your pictures. Also make sure that you're following the Greens Club on Instagram so you don't miss any of their awesome events and ideas. While you're at it, why not attend a few meetings? You may see us there as well. One more announcement, guys. There will be a band meeting tomorrow for about 10 minutes or so at the beginning of lunch to discuss how we will be scheduling and organizing band for the rest of the year. And I'm so excited to see you guys all there. I miss you all so much. So is that all we got this week, then? Yeah, it looks like it. Well, in that case, email us if there's anything you'd like us to include in next week's episode. Or just email us for fun or whatever. We'll email you back, maybe. And uh, you can also catch us this week on your morning announcements on the PA system. Cheers, lads, and always remember what we never told you. On the set of the morning show right now. Good morning, kids. <laughs> uh, that don't really work.
Okay. Oh. Grew a 19. Or kidding. Grew a 19. <laughs> Mayfield golf, tennis, and. Mayfield. <laughs> Is this all we got? That's why you're asking me that. This every week on. Um, well, you, the, you can also like the, the, the doll with the fire. <laughs> <laughs>